Hey guys and welcome back out to the garage for another update on what's going on out here. Uh, the Z50 build is underway, sort of. I've torn it down, but uh, that's the easy part. Uh, challenging part now is get all these parts cleaned up and looking new again to uh, get to the reassembly. Anyways, happy Thanksgiving to my American friends. I just took advantage of some Black Friday sales at Princess Auto here. Um, went there to buy this vibratory tumbler just to use on various parts like this build here. Um, put some car parts and uh, some of these parts through there to hopefully get polished up and looking new again. Um, normally I'd take them to the wire wheel or use the uh, glass beads and the blasting count over there, which I still might do, but uh, the tumbler down there should really help save time. Just throw the parts in there and uh, let them go while I go to work and uh, hopefully, you know, open it back up and have them looking nice and new again. Anyways, while I was at Princess Auto, I couldn't help but uh, take advantage of the other deals they had. Um, this cheap powder coating system. Anyways, I don't expect much of this thing for the price I paid, but uh, hopefully it works for doing some bracketry on the builds I do. And uh, of course, auto darkening welding helmet. I've never had my own. Um, they certainly come in handy, so that there is only 20 some bucks, so couldn't resist that. Anyways, let's see how well these new tools here work out on uh, finishing off this build. All right, so it's all in package now. The uh, crushed walnut shell taken out. All right, so for testing purposes here, I pulled the valve tappet covers off the Honda 50 engine and I have these old unused uh, adjuster screws um, for the torsion spring front end on the Volkswagen Beetle. I took them out when I put the adjusters in. Anyways, we'll run those through with the uh, walnut shell and we'll run those through there with those resin beads. Just to see what kind of different uh, results we get. All right, before we put those in, let's get them degreased and take those uh, rubber gasket seals out of the back of there. And we'll get some of that grease off those first. All right, so there's a good before and after photo. Let's get that plugged in. Toss that in there. Toss that there and there. Got that lid secured. Done. All right, so that there's only been less than five minutes. I know we need to do it a lot longer, probably closer to half an hour or several hours. Well, let's check out the progress. Still no change. So what I'll do now is I'll put my one of my smart plugs on here. That way I can control it. I'll uh, turn on, go to bed, and then uh, have it scheduled to turn off after a few hours here. We'll give that a try. These little devices here work awesome. Um, just a little smart plug. Take that out, plug it in, set the timer just on the smartphone and uh, it'll be off in four hours, six hours, however long I'll leave it on for. Well these parts have been in here for about two and a half hours now. Let's see how they look in comparison to the other parts. 
Last I checked, there wasn't uh, wasn't much progress yet. Um, anyways, there's the part. And it may be slightly cleaned up, maybe. But there's certainly not no uh, improvement over the other part yet. There's that one. Again, certainly no improvement yet. So what we'll do is uh, take that crushed walnut shell out and we'll get the uh, resin pyramid shaped media place in there. Give these ones a try, see how it works out. Um, but I think I definitely need to do some more researching to find out uh, the best methods and uh, whether to do it wet or dry. Just do a little bit of research to find out uh, what the best method is for the, uh, the results I'm trying to achieve here. Let's get this swapped out. in the uh, parts here for cleaning. Do about a two and a half hour test for good comparison. See how that turned out. And if I'm not getting the results I want, then I'll do some more researching again and uh, see what kind of abrasives to add in or um, water or polishing compounds to add into this. All right, so I had the parts in there for a couple hours now. Um, comparable amount of time to the other parts in the crushed walnut shell. So let's get this taken out and see how they look. And we got one of the pyramids stuck in the uh, hex head of that. And it's a little bit hard to tell at first how good it really looks because of the dust, but uh, I'm sure you can see there, it's looking pretty good actually. And not quite uh, perfect, but quite impressive actually. Especially when you compare it to this one here in the walnut shell. Huge comparison difference. And this one here, again covered in dust, so it's hard to tell. But once you get the dust wiped off, it's actually right down to the bare metal. And whereas this one here, with a walnut shell, looks no different than before. So overall, I'd say I'm very impressed with the results there. But I'd like to keep experimenting and see what uh, yields the best results. So what I'll do is I'll put these ones back in. However, I'll swap out the, uh, the pyramid media with some stainless steel shot I have and see how that compares. And then from there, I'll try the stainless steel, maybe wet. Um, and then compare that again to this here, wet with some uh, water and polishing compounds and or with some uh, glass bead or abrasive sand just to see what kind of results we get with each. All right, got the uh, stainless steel shot in there. Quite fine, but uh, as I'm sure you can imagine, being stainless, it's quite heavy, so the bowl isn't very full there. But let's get these parts in. These are the ones that I used the walnut shell on at first. You can see it still doesn't look uh, doesn't look very good. But the uh, the resin pyramids cleaned up these ones here quite well. 
So let's see what the uh, stainless steel shot does in comparison. Get that in. Get that in. Should tumble pretty good in there. Lid on. And we'll put the uh, timer on there for a couple hours again. Come back out in the garage and see how she looks. Well, unfortunately, that was a disappointment. Um, I had these parts in the stainless steel shot for a couple hours again, a uh, comparable time to the, um, the, the resin pyramids, but uh, I'm disappointed to say that the results are not comparable at all. Um, may have cleaned up slightly, but uh, certainly not to a measurable degree. As you can see there. And this one here is with the, uh, the resin pyramids dry. So what I'll do now, actually for comparison measures too, On the right here, we have the, the resin pyramids. On the left there is with the uh, stainless steel shot. So what I'll do now is I will put these back in after swapping this out for the uh, resin pyramids again. But this time I'll add some soap, water, and uh, just for experimenting purposes, I think I will add some of this autosol metal polish. Just to see what kind of results we get with that. All right, so we got the uh, resin pyramids back in there. I'll be doing these parts, the ones that were with the stainless steel shot to see how they come out in comparison to that. Pour in some water. And again, please do not bash me in the comments here because I'm just uh, you know, learning and simply experimenting to see what yields the best results. Anyways, I have no idea how much water to add in there. I'll start with uh, about a cup of water, a few drops of Dawn dish soap, and a squirt of that auto cell. Get that turned on. Seems to be spinning quite nicely in there. So we'll get that lid back on. And we'll leave that on there for uh, about two and a half hours and see how she looks. So after a few hours, I've taken these out and um, they look basically identical to that of the, uh, the plastic pyramids um, that were dry. So on the right here is the, uh, the dry on the left is wet. Results are very similar, but to my surprise, the ones that uh, were done dry resulted in, in a slightly brighter shine. 
whereas this one here did have the, uh, the metal polish added. And same with the, uh, the hardware here. Very similar, both dry and wet. Whereas the dry has a uh, slight bit more of a shine to it. And I actually added in this intake elbow for the carburetor on the Honda 50. And it, uh, I'll add a photo in there to show, but it uh, made it look very good in my opinion. However, it still doesn't have the shine. So I'm going to add these parts back in to the tumbler here. And I have the uh, walnut shell back in, just dry, no additive, and we'll see what kind of shine we get with that after a few hours of tumbling. And we'll get the lid back on there first. Well, after a few hours of having these parts in with the, uh, the dry walnut shell, um, they're looking good, but uh, still doesn't have the shine that the uh, other parts do that were cleaned up with the, uh, the dry pyramids. Slight more shine, but uh, not comparable to that yet. So anyways, as per the table in the book, we can add some metal polish to the crushed walnut shell there. Um, no water, just a slight bit of polish. So it says. So add a uh, couple squirts of that in there. Turn it back on and let it run overnight I think and see how it looks in the morning. Get the lid back on there. All right, so I've left this running all night, about uh, I don't know, 10 plus hours in the walnut shell with a slight bit of Autosol metal polish. So let's see what kind of results we got now. That's the intake elbow for the carburetor on the Honda 50. And it looks quite good now, actually. Um, still not a chrome-like shine, but it's uh, definitely shined up. So I think I'll put that in there and leave it in there all day today and see how it looks after that. And this here is the, the valve tappet cover. And it certainly has more of a shine now than before. And I would say the shine is comparable, if not better, than with just the, uh, the dry um, resin pyramids. So we'll put that back in there. Um, actually, we'll put them both back in there um, throughout the day today, keep them on, and uh, and see how it looks. Not expecting much more of improvement, but uh, should clean up, just get a little more shine on there. All right, so one last update here before I finish off the video. I've had these parts in here for a, uh, a couple days now with the crushed walnut shell, um, with a little bit of the auto cell metal polish. And uh, it's not quite perfect yet. Although I'd say it's looking pretty close to chrome finish. With the uh, float bowl in there. The carburetor elbow. Those parts here are in there for a slightly less time. 
just the, uh, the air filter cage. I think I'm going to um, plate those before I do anything else to those. Looking quite good, in my opinion. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Take care.